Konnichiwa and Kanbangwa, depending where you are in the world time zone you're in. It's time for another Death Note Vlog! Yay! And this time, I have taken precautions to ensure you don't hear puppies tags go jingling throughout the entire review. <laughs> and also, I am sorry I've lagged on these. Things have kind of gotten a little crazy around here with my normal job and everything. So to make up for that, I'm going to try and put out two of these a week instead of just the once a week I was trying to do. Hopefully that'll let me play catch up. And once I have caught up with everything, I can then get back to doing the one a week. So this week's episode four is today's. And y you know what? It, things are getting kind of dicey for poor light. <laughs> and not just in a little way. Uh, of course, we do have the famous potato chip scene. But I'll get to that. We start this episode with... Actually, this episode was kind of strange. It We start out with Light wondering about second Kita, and at, then we kind of cut to L, who's depressed the other investigators, and you kind they're all like, "Oh, he's really depressed," and they kind of comment on what the heck he's actually drinking in every single scene he's in. Which actually would be kind of interesting to note or have someone comment on that actually be a little fun. But then we get to a really interesting bit with Light's dad go talking to Al and going, dude, what's going on? What are we gonna do next? You know, the FBI is kinda of pulling out. And Al's like, Don't worry, I I got the next bit done. And it turns out the n next day, when Light and his sister leave, Watari shows up with a van with peoples who are put the security cameras and microphones in the Light's home and the police commissioner's home because that's those are the two families where L is pretty certain Kita is. Although, it's pretty evident he just sees Light and is going, It's you. I'm gonna catch you, son of a bitch. I'm gonna catch you. I mean, it, it, it's very interesting. Mori, it's kind of like in The Great Mouse Detective how obsessed uh, Basil was to catch Radigan. It, it, it's very much that you can see see it in the actor who's playing Elle's eyes. He's like, I will catch you, I will catch you, I will catch you. It's almost an obsession or implied. This is all implications and how I take it, but that's just how I see it. Also, we get more of the pop singer interacting with Rem, which is real nice, and I should probably get to that later. But uh, Elle uh, sends Watari to set up cameras, and before Light left, he put a piece of paper in this side of the door, and this time he actually explains why he does it. And I like that, because in the other versions, he did something to his door, and he, you get the impression he was doing it for a while, and you're not really given a reason, especially the movie. The movie really frustrated me, because I was like, why Why is he doing that? Is he, is he afraid his parents are going to come into his room and clean it? I mean, you're living with your parents. They're, they're gonna come into your room at some point. But it, what Elle does, so Elle has Watari putting up cameras everywhere and, and now we get to second Kira and Rem. And I actually really like what they're doing with Rem. Now Rem was a little more animated, you know, she actually moved her arms as opposed to the other appearance where she's just kind of been very 
still and very controlled. You can really see how they're differentiating Rem from Ruk. And I really want to see their interactions when they get together at some point, because we know what's going to happen and it'll be real interesting. But the pop singer, aka Sankara, really wants to talk to Light. She wants to meet because she knows he's Kida and she saved him. And Rem's like, uh, it, it, it's a bad, good idea if you don't. People who use the Death Note get paranoid. And we have seen in Light, especially in this episode, he is getting increasingly paranoid. And Rem also mentions, you know, it's better if you just kind of chillax with it. And if all else fails, you should just use the Death Note yourself and understand that Instead of going to see him, just use it a few minutes, you'll understand the paranoia. And you think she's got it. You think it's there. But then she just kind of looks at Rem and goes, What's this paranoid mean? And Rem just kind of goes, Enough of this, and walks right out through the wall. And I had to pause and laugh at that because that was my opinion of Second Kira in all the iterations of why the heck are we putting up with this chick? Well, I, let's just get rid of her, have her go away. But in this one, you really get a sense that she's crazy. I mean, she does start using the Death Note, but she kills shoplifters, per people who are recording girls in the bathroom, and such criminals like that. And she feels nothing. She doesn't give two flips that she's killing people. And when Rem asks uh, the pop singer why she's doing it, she just kind of goes, I want to make sure that Kira knows that I am an ally. She even sends a really threatening note to the police stations after she's killed these people, demanding L show himself on camera. Because she now has the eyes of Shinigami, and she can just write the guy's name and kill him. And it, you really, really get uh, unnettling, unsettling things from her. And I do respect that because although now she is starting to borderline on that, am I going to be able to stand her? I, I'm still not sure if I'm going to be. If she's gonna go crazy to the point of, or that crazy annoying that she is in the second movie, especially I, I could not stand her. But I hope they keep her cold, insane, and callous. That's how I want her to stay. If she stays that way, I'm gonna enjoy her. If not, these feelings are really gonna start to suck for me because I really do not like that character. But now we got. Everything involving her out of the way, we can get to the rest of the characters and all the important stuff. But a uh, light comes home after Watari put in all these bugs, and the paper is in the same place he left it. However, one thing he did was when his door shuts, uh, the handle goes perfect horizontal. But before, but after light inserted the paper. He had the perfect horizontal go down just a fraction. Barely noticeable to the naked eye, but something he would notice because he did it. And when he went back home, it was perfect horizontal. So he immediately knew something was up. And he decided to, all right, I'm just going to make sure everything works out. And... When he goes in, it's an internal, he doesn't react, he goes, okay, there's cameras, there has to be something going on. Someone's been in my room, it was most likely L, and there are probably cameras. And Ruk isn't there, actually, which is kind of interesting. I kind of wanted Ruk to be there and go, hey, hey, lie, hey, lie. But no, they kind of ruined a really fun moment with Ruk there. But... He walks out and 
He then then he meets Rook and they talk and he's like, you know, there are probably a lot of cameras. And Rook goes, yeah, 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 give me an apple. I want an apple. I mean, the poor Rook. <laughs> I do not know if Shinigamis can have addictions, but if they do, Rooks are apples. No two cents about it. He really needs to see someone about his apple addiction. But Rook. But like goes, y you know what happened if right now you ate an apple in my room? Who looks like, N no, I have eaten the apple. And like kind of comes, it looked like a floating apple in midair, and that is bound to cause issues. And so Light, being the clever devil he is, turns to Rick and goes. Uh, you gotta find out where all the cameras are. And Rook's like, hey, I'm not on your side or else. And like goes, okay, but then you won't get any apples and I just bought a big bag of apples. And this tree has a big bag full of apples. And I'm not certain if he just bought them on impulse or if he bought them knowing he could use them to sit there and go, jump boy, jump, you want it? You want the apple? You want it? And Rook's just like, hmm, I'm not on anyone's side, but you know what, having no apples would suck, so I'll do it. And he walks around and he finds 67 cameras in Light's room alone. Dear heaven, they, well, El, don't mess around. <laughs> but he's with the other police peoples, and it turns out that after the FBI people die, the commissioner told Light's dad that they disbanded the regular force that was hunting Kita. Also, we get a strange scene with the prosecutor. Or at least I think that the prosecutor, I mean, I don't really remember who the guy is. He didn't make much of an appearance. Is looking through the K old Kita files. And he does see that the person who killed the pop star's family died of a heart attack. So he kind of starts thinking, y you know, I'm kind of starting to get curi curious here. But before anything's really said of it, they cut to the investigators all watching cameras. And L says he's not biased to any of the suspects, but he is only watching light. And y you know, I can understand all the L light slash fig that's out there and god knows after this series there is gonna be so much more fortunately they do have the one female investigator looking at all the girls when they go into the toilet take showers make sure not doing anything fishy and also making sure that none of the guys can be because of being perverts which is that's that's actually very nice and something i can't remember that the other ones really we're explicit about ensuring that, yeah, there's one chick to make sure the guys don't have to accidentally look at naked chicks. So we then get closer and closer to everything. It's, they say about, I think it, I think Elle wants a um, month long surveillance. And Light wrote in the death note about a week ahead to make sure that people would still die for justice. And of course, as we all know, uh, the famous potato chip scene happens where, but uh, I'll tell you how it leads up to it. Cause the thing is they actually show light planning that shit out, which I really like. I really like that. 